Good morning. It is April 8th. This is Wednesday, Math 5. And we're going to be moving into multiplying decimals today. So, um, I want to... I don't want to confuse you too much about what's going on in that blue box. I think it's a little bit confusing and misleading. So we're going to do some simple math. Um, I'm going to simplify it for you. But I do want to work on that problem, which is 0 0.4 times 0 0.3. Okay. So what they're wanting you to think about is they're wanting you to think about these in terms of fractions because you're really good at multiplying fractions now. So when I read this number properly, 0 and 4 tenths, because it's in the tenths place, I can hear a fraction, 4 tenths. This is the same thing, right, as 4 tenths. And I'm going to bring down my multiplication sign. I'm going to say this one is the same as 3 tenths, <clears throat> because I'm thinking about that place value. So I can go ahead and multiply across, and I get 4 times 3 is 12. And 10 times 10 is 100. Correct? Now I want to reduce that down. 6 over 50, 3 over 25. How could I have kept from doing this? I could have reduced, right, and cross reduced. But I get 3 25ths. Oh, um, excuse me. They don't want us to reduce this down. Okay? We want to stay here because the reason why is because. If I have, this is the hundredths place, do you agree? So what number, if I can get a 100 here, what number goes up here? A 12. Okay? All right. You have a few of these to do where you have to change them into a fraction. Um, I'm going to teach you how to multiply these simply, but if it does ask you to do the fraction, I do want you to practice um, translating these into a fraction and then back into the answer because um, it's really important that we can do these steps. But I'm going to go ahead and teach you simply how to multiply this problem. Okay, I'm going to line them up vertically to do my math problem. And then I'm just going to multiply pretending that those decimals are not there. So don't pay any attention. This is not a bring down the decimal. We've talked about this, right? Don't bring down the decimal when we multiply or divide decimals. Okay, um, There are different rules. If we were adding, we would bring it down. If we were subtracting, we would bring down the decimal. But we do not bring down the decimal when we multiply. 3 times 4 is 12. Carry the 1. 3 times 0 is 0 plus 1. Now mark out the 1's place. 0 0 times 0 is 0. Now I'm going to add them. Okay. Now, this is where, after we get an answer, we start dealing with the decimal point. Okay. So if you remember, we start over here and we say, well, how many numbers did I jump to get to the decimal? 1. Put a little 1 out here. How many numbers do I jump here? 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So I have 1 two numbers behind decimal places. So I come down here with the number two in mind and I start and I jump two numbers. One, two. So my answer is zero and twelve hundredths. Notice I got the same answer as I did up here. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and let's do number four on your worksheet for some practice. Okay, so 1 and 7, oh, wrong problem, uh, let's do, I'm going to go ahead and write that problem, 9 times 3 is 27, 2, mark out my 1's, 0, 0, Okay, I have 1, 2, so 1, 2, so 0 and 77 hundredths is my answer. Okay, make sure you do that one and see. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and um, flip to the back page. You do not have to do number 14. And on these, I'm going to give you your choice 
on how you want to do these. You can change them into the fraction, the space is there, if you um, find that an easier way to find the solve the problem. Um, or on 15 through 19, you can write down on a piece of paper and do the multiplying like this. I'm going to leave that up to you. Now, on numbers one through three on the front page, I want you to put them in fraction form. So I want you to practice both ways, how it asks you to do it on the first page. On the second page, you do not have to do number 14. You can do 15 through 19 however you want. Just show your work, and you, as long as the correct answer is in that spot and you've shown your work, you're good to go.